Good day to you, my dear brothers and sisters. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. This is Father Ron Sandoval, SVD, Chaplain of the Philippine Sigotas Dinsgemeinde here in Vienna, Austria. I welcome you all to this moment with Jesus, the Word of God. Today is November 14, Saturday of the 32nd week in Ordinary Time. Samahan niyo po ako sa ating pakikinig at pagninilay sa Salita ng Diyos. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the third letter of St. John. Beloved, you are faithful in all you do for the brothers and sisters, especially for strangers. They have testified to your love before the church. Please help them in a way worthy of God to continue their journey, for they have set out for the sake of the name and are accepting nothing from the pagans. Therefore, we ought to support such persons so that we may be co-workers in the truth. The Word of the Lord Psalm 112 Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth, the upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. His generosity shall endure forever. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Well for the man who is gracious and lends who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be an everlasting remembrance. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Gospel Antiphone God has called us through the Gospel to possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray always without becoming weary. He said, There was a judge in a certain town who neither feared God nor respected any human being. And a widow in the town used to come to him and say, Render a just decision for me against my adversary. For a long time, the judge was unwilling. But eventually he thought, while it is true that I neither fear God nor respect any human being, because this widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her, lest she finally come and strike me. The Lord said, Pay attention to what the dishonest judge says. Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will, be, will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will see to it that justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? My dear brothers and sisters, we are now living in the time of pandemic, terrorism, and natural calamities. And sometimes man could be so overwhelmed with all of this that it leads him to losing the faith, that it leads man to weakening at least of the faith. How are you? In the midst of all of these things happening to you, will, find, will Jesus Christ find you in faith or standing in faith when he comes when he comes right now will he find you stand firm in faith to pray is to show faith you no know? prayer is a manifestation of faith and in today's gospel reading we are being told by Jesus to pray unceasingly without weary to pray always to pray at all times at every moment of our lives Prayer is our connectedness, our connectedness to the power source. 
To be in prayer is to be connected to God. No? To be in prayer is to be in the presence of God. No? And so to pray is to be connected to the power source. And we need this. We need this all moments of our lives. Good times, bad times, happy moments, bad moments, sufferings, successes. In all these moments, we need to be connected to the power source. And more so when we are suffering, when we find no reason to pray anymore because life is so heavy and burdensome, all the more that we should come to God. We are presented with a parable in today's gospel reading, no? Two characters, a woman, a widow, no? And uh, a man, a judge. To be a woman during the time of Jesus, during the Old Testament period, is to be the weak personality, to be a weak person. In its nature, a woman is a weak person, no? And um, the, the strength of the woman, or even the worth of the woman, is dependent on her relationship to a man, to her father, to her brother, or to her son. And so, yeah, no worth at all in, in, in herself during the time of Jesus. And a widow at that, that means she has no relationship. She has no attachment to a man, no? And um, the other person is a man, <laughs> a strength in itself, and a judge at that, no? And um, a man who does not fear God, who does not have um, respect for other people, no? And so the woman is coming to this judge, pleading, praying, asking that a just decision be delivered to her, no? And the woman was persistent. And um, the judge, uh, at the latter part, says that I am going to deliver a just judgment to this woman, otherwise he will keep on bothering me. In other words, because of the persistence of the woman to the man, the judge, the judge will give the just justice, no? Justice or the just decision. And, and Jesus is telling us, if this man, this judge, this man who does not fear God and does not suspect people will give a just decision to a persistent woman, how much more with God who is loving and merciful? No? And so we need only to be connected to the Lord. We need only to be standing firm in the faith. As I have said, prayer is an act of faith. No? You will not pray to someone who do not, you do not have faith or you do not believe. No? If that person is weaker or, or lesser than you, you will not go to pray or, or ask help for that person who is weaker than you. No, you always pray to someone who you believe will be able to help you. No, and, and that is faith. No? And so faith in prayers. Again, especially in these times, let us pray. Let us pray not only for ourselves, for, for one another, especially for those whom we know who are in dire need. Prayer for them is our first response in answering to the call of God to love our neighbor. First response, to pray for them, even for our enemies, to pray for them, to wish them good. No, that is loving the neighbor. In the second, in the first reading from the third letter of, of John, we are being told by, by the writer to, to show our love, but especially for those who are working for the truth, the missionaries, those bringing the word of God. No? We are all missionaries. We are members of a missionary church, and so we are all missionaries, of course, in different grades of activities, no? But we have to be conscious that we are missionaries, that we pray for the other is a missionary activity, no? Of course, there are more uh, people living the life radically by leaving up everything and uh, joining the priesthood or becoming a religious brother or sister, no? A radical following of Jesus, literally, uh, going house to house, no, to evangelize, to proclaim the word of God, and so not all can do that, but at least we can we can accept, and that is the point of the first reading. We can accept and help those doing this, working for the truth. We should be co-workers for the truth, you know? not for those working for half truths. No, our support for the should be for the church that is working for the truth. Our real missionaries, you no. Know? So praying for them, accepting them, and giving material help for them, this, these are the missionary activities that we can do right now in our times, no? 
Rolly, uh, sorry, and, and uh, the storms, no, Ulysses, all of them are really making lives of people hard, no? And so, and these are situations of prayers. These are situations of standing firm in the faith by showing my love for my brother and, and really doing something for them, praying for them and doing concrete works for them, the good works that we do. So, my dear brothers and sisters, be persistent in prayer and stand firm with the faith. That is how we live with Jesus in this world, so that we will be living with Jesus in heaven. Amen. Manalangin tayo ng walang humpay at huwag mawala ng pag-asa sapagkat ibibigay ng Diyos ang, ang karunungan at katarungan sa kanyang mga hinirang na tumatawag sa kanya sa araw at gabi. Pinalalakas ang ating loob ng katuroang ito ng ating Panginoon. Lumapit tayo sa Ama, dala ang ating mga kahilingan. Ama, pakinggan mo ang aming panalangin. Ang simbahan sa pamamagitan ng kanyang mga lingkod naway maging masigasig sa gitna ng mga pagsubok at pagdurusa at huwag mawala ng tiwala sa pagkapahayag ng Ibanghelyo. Manalangin tayo. Ama, pakinggan mo ang aming mga panalangin. Ang mga pinanghihinaan ng loob at natutuksong sumuko na sa pagsusumikap na mamuhay ng mabuti naway makatagpo ng bagong lakas ng pananampalataya sa Diyos. Manalangin tayo. Ama, pakinggan mo ang aming mga panalangin. Yaong mga nahihirapang magdasal, naway maging masigasig muli sa pananalangin at bigyang puwang ang Diyos sa kanilang pang-araw-araw na buhay. Manalangin tayo. Ama, pakinggan mo ang aming mga panalangin. Ang mga may sakit, sa gitna ng kanilang mga paghihirap, naway patuloy na magtyaga at huwag mawala ng pag-asa. Manalangin tayo. Ama, pakinggan mo ang aming mga panalangin. Ang mga yumao, naway tumanggap ng makalangit na gantimpala para sa kanilang mga pagsisikap sa mundo. Manalangin tayo. Ama, pakinggan mo ang aming mga panalangin. Sa katahimikan ng ating puso, itaas natin sa Panginoon ang ating mga pansariling kahilingan. Ama namin nasa langit, ipinagkakatiwala namin sa iyo ang aming mga pangangailangan. Ipakita mo sa amin ang paraan ng panalangin walang humpay upang kami ay maging kaisa mo sa pamamagitan ni Kristong aming kapatid at Panginoon. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Maraming pong salamat sa inyong pakikiisa sa ating pagninilay ng salita ng Diyos ngayong araw na ito. Stand firm in faith. Pray without ceasing. Manalangin ng walang humpay at manantili sa pananampalataya sa ating Panginoong Jesus. Father Ron Sandoval from Vienna, Austria. Magandang araw, magandang buhay. Happy weekend to all of you.